A Marine is characterized as one who possesses the highest of military virtues. He obeys all orders, respects his seniors, and strives constantly to be the very best at everything he does. Discipline and spirit are the hallmarks of a Marine. You too can become a Marine if you develop discipline and spirit. We will give every effort to train you, even after some of you have given up on yourself. You're listening to Two Marines, One Mike. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Two Marines, One Mike. As always, I'm Phil. And this is Wade. And we're your hosts. What? Bow, 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 bow. Yeah. That was kind of like quick. Sorry. Yeah, it was. It, it, it wasn't like a regular pace yet. Dude, I'm like, this is the podcast I feel like I've been waiting for for like ever. First and foremost, I want to say happy St. Paddy's Day. Are you going to do the cell phone joke now? I don't think it's funny. Okay. They might think it's funny. Do it. I won't do it. You should do it. <laughs> <laughs> On St. Paddy's Day, it's not appropriate to grab someone's cell phone, smash it, and take it. It's a felony. <laughs> Ask Conor McGregor, right? <laughs> Ask Conor McGregor. <laughs> That's how it ends. That's how it ends. Uh, dude. Let's start with the purpose. We've been like totally, uh, let's, let's start with the purpose. You're yeah, right. We've been totally missing the purpose. The purpose of this podcast is to give you, the listener, and today, viewer, I don't know where I'm pointing. Everywhere. Information, skills, and tools that we learned in the Marine Corps that you could apply to the civilian world and ultimately improve the quality of your life. Live Can an it, ultimate life. Ultimate life. And usually that life doesn't involve like a prison cell, but for some people it might. Mm. Mm. Can you, uh, some people might know where we're going with this. Honor, courage, and commitment. Core values, transparency, honesty. Uh, I mean, fuck the law. <laughs> Do we have to say anything else? It's incredible what just went down. Do, do you want to do a little backstory? or? I mean, it's also incredible that like I, I took the story about, um, you know, obviously we're in the supplement industry if you've been listening to the podcast. And we're all about giving back and transparency. Yeah. And there's other individuals that are the complete opposite. So there was like some pretty heavy indictments rolled out that um, encompass all those people. And they should because they're doing like some highly illegal stuff, basically purchasing stuff from China and selling it to you, the consumer, and not telling you what was in it, stuff that could permanently damage your body. Always, man. And, and how fucked is that? Like, here's the deal. Uh, you know, this is this all has to do with Blackstone Labs. Like, that's where it started, right? Mm-hmm. And it just so happens that one of the co-founders of Blackstone Labs left after he realized that all this shit was going down. And, I mean, he knew about it, but once he realized the ship was burned, I think he left and started another company, Redcom One. Mm-hmm. And for all I know, everything that Redcom does is above board, man. I, I, I mean, but here's the deal, right? You have... <laughs> there's literally emails that are like hide that shit from like three years ago like you're gonna tell me that one you don't know two like you're capable of starting another company like honestly and doing the right thing on on that side like I don't think so dude I don't fucking think so and what pisses me off about that shit and like really fucking bothers me is that 90% of his fucking client base is fucking military well what bothers me is like I, like I told you when I came in today is like this guy is defending him in the veteran in South Florida forum. He's like, well, maybe he worked there and he didn't know. I'm like, he was the CEO. He you don't get company. indicted. You don't get indicted on like Read a 14 book. different accounts of fraud, money laundering. If mm. you have some involvement. Right. You're not just like dropping your kids off of school one day and like, oh, why mm. is the FBI man, here? I didn't. <laughs> I didn't do anything ever. Like, come on, man. Yeah. I mean, dude. So. These actions, hey, like, come and, on, and dude. that's okay. You know that that's okay. That's their prerogative. Obviously, they didn't read any of any of the literature uh, that's been provided by the United States Department of Justice. This yeah. isn't like fucking TMZ Times one. You know, read this article. We hung out in his front lawn for fucking two weeks. Like, no, they surrendered and posted bail. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So, I'm not really like into the whole like beat them down kind of deal. But at the same time, like if you're doing something wrong, you're doing something wrong and that's the end of it. You fucking take whatever fucking consequences come and hit you in the face. Cause obviously you saw this shit coming. You had to. Well, that's why I left Blackstone. Right. 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 And, um, 
for all I know, they've been uh, beefing pretty hard recently again over the whole whole deal. And uh, guess what? <clears throat> you guys better get fucking good friends and get your story straight because right. the, F, F a, the D and the A are coming after you real good. Like I was telling Jen, I was like, it's like, so this guy's defending the company. I'm going to go back to that just for a second. So it's like, it's like Evolution Fitness, my gym, 10 years strong. And then I have Patriot Sports Nutrition, six, seven, eight months old, whatever. It's like 10 years of taking money in for charity and never giving it to charity. And then moving over to Patriot Sports Nutrition <laughs> and saying, here's my new company. Like, what level of trust? So this guy's like, because I was telling her, I was like, this guy's defending it in in the forum. I'm like, dude, like, there's a character and morality and ethics yeah. here. It's like... If you're part of you're, lack of you're running things. a company right. that's fraudulently sticking stuff in people's bodies that could permanently damage, according to what we read, permanently damage them, and then you move into another company that does the same thing, how could people, from a loyalty perspective, want to ingest those products? I would say trust is a big deal, man. Like, like and obviously, you know, that dude has built whoever at Redcon one has built some trust in this, you know, specific veteran, which is totally cool, man. Like I, I'm not against what they do as far as marketing. I I could care less. Right. I I think that that's super cool that we can also do the same thing, but it's a trust thing. People trust you. People trust us Mm -hmm. to do the right thing because we're a fucking business because we're a company because we tell you that we care about you as a consumer i expect that you're telling me the fucking truth and i shouldn't have to second guess it Mm -hmm. as a consumer i think that especially especially with products that i fucking put in my body i eat these i drink them i on a regular basis it's not a once in a while deal if something's wrong with them, it's going to go down fast. You can't put fucking in a pre-workout and expect no one to come after you. Right. And it wasn't, it's amp six point some shit. It's something that they made up and it's, everybody's chasing the ephedra is what's happening. For what dude? Here's a fucking newsflash. If you didn't figure this out yet, you could have made the same amount of money without doing anything illegal. Right. You're a great marketer. Wow, dude. I'm sitting here. Yeah, it's applicable to anything. Especially this, dude. Like, what in the world? Anyway, so thank you for that because Patriot Sports Nutrition, with this fucking label that's fully transparent, will be taking all of your military business. Thanks so much. Mm Mm-hmm. Trust, man. People but I think, trust us. So getting to the trust standpoint, like I feel like what has helped us a lot is like when I message people through Instagram saying, hey, you know, we're the supplement company. We're better known. We have a track record of giving back. It's not like we launched this company and say, let's give back so people buy our shit. It's like, here's track record. 5Ks, breast cancer. Um, what did we do yesterday morning? MS. Connected, yeah. Yesterday morning, we had an event at the gym where we raised over fifteen hundred dollars for Connected Warriors to provide yoga all over the world for active duty and, and uh, veterans in and an, family. In like an hour and a half, it was awesome. So it's like it's not a gimmick, you know. And I feel like that's what really because you're a little more empathetic to because I feel like if you're gonna market the military, you should. We had a lot of people tell us like, "Oh shit, I was taking their stuff because I thought they're veteran owned." Sure, they're not veteran owned. And then we did see that they do give back, which is really, really nice. That's cool. And then this guy in the in the veteran forums like, well, they give discounts to veterans. Like, fucking everyone if does you that. You need the 25%, bro, it ain't for you. Yeah, everyone does that. I mean, I get 50% off when I go to Disney World. Doesn't mean like I'm like, go Disney. Yeah, right? Walt Disney was a fucking racist. Like, <laughs> that's it. Like, period. Do I enjoy going to Disney World? Sure. But that, you're exactly right, man. You hit it on the head. It, it's... I don't, at the same time, I don't believe, like, right, that would put him at a disadvantage if people found out that he was not a veteran, like, on the real. Like, if he just went out and publicly and was like, I mean, he does got some guys working for him that, that have been in, which is super cool, and, and I don't, you know, if you're a shady dude, you're a shady dude, and that, and that's okay. Just not around my fucking people, man. I've had an issue with them from the, the get-go, and, and if you label a product 
that is named after something that kills our fucking troops. Like, I, I oh, just, yeah, that's another. You know, so. know, know what the hell you're talking about. Cool. Yeah. You want to market to military, active duty, and dude, people supporting them, but mm. know who you're supporting. Just like Wounded Warrior Project, and no issue calling mm. them out. They have a new fucking CEO. Of shit. <laughs> they have a new CEO, so they might be a little bit different, but. Back in the day, man, money wasn't going where it was supposed to go. No, it was man, going to weird jets and yeah, a, you know, private. CEO and fuck that. Like we give money to people that take the money and give it to our veterans, people that need the money. They We're, do cool shit with it, man. Like Connected mm-hmm. Warriors needed a bunch of stuff so that they could start a firefighter and LEO mm-hmm. a part of their program, a Connected Warrior. I, I think love that's that. Fucking awesome. As soon as he said that, that's I was like, crap. cool. Let's write a check. <sighs> Storage full. And um. That's okay. So, as long as long as you stay there, you'll be fine. What are we doing, right? What do we do differently? Why do people trust us? Why are we getting such great feedback? Because we actually fucking care. How many of you can say that you've written fifteen hundred fucking handwritten notes to your customers? Right. Uh, how many? And not like thank you. Yeah, it's actually like two sentences. Yeah, mine Maybe are three. mine are a little longer than that. Yeah, and um. Like, I pride myself on that. Like, that's how much people mean to us and to me and what we're doing. Like, the personal experience is it. Why in the world would I ever sign my name on something that I know is hurting people? I don't know, man. Like, when I when I first opened the gym and the first person that bought a t-shirt, I was like, wow, that person just bought a t-shirt with my gym's name on it. Like, that meant something to me. Like you're repping, like today I'm repping, I think this is a pretty cool brand. Mm-hmm. Cool brand, Marine Corps brand? I just got like you're repping a brand. Phil didn't get the memo that's St. Patty's Day, but I came in green. It's OD green, green man, cup. I got green my green. Cup. I don't know why I keep talking about it. Green cup. Turn this to the fucking thing off, just looking at it. But, um, you know, that meant something to me. That really meant something to me that someone took it upon themselves to purchase an Evolution Fitness shirt. I was like, wow. Yeah, like, that's incredible. I, I was proud of it, and I don't, I don't know, man. I just I just take it very seriously, and I still take it very seriously, whether it's Patriot Sports Nutrition or even Two Marines, One Mike, and, and Evolution Fitness. I mean, you're supporting something that you believe in. Yeah. Be transparent. People got fooled, man. Or go to jail. People got fooled. Go to jail. That's it. People got fooled. And, you know, truth be told, like, I have a, um, I don't want to say good friend, but I have a friend, an acquaintance that's in prison right now who works in an industry where there's like five members that um, do the same thing. Oh, yeah. And so, for sure. Speaking to one of these attorneys, he said, you know, he was basically like, fuck him. You know, he was doing illegal shit. He was taking food off of my kid's plate because he was not playing by the rules by the rules and not playing fair in the sandbox. And I was like, wow, it's an interesting perspective. I don't look at it like that. Like you're taking business from people that are doing it the right way, that are morally and ethically doing things for the greater good sure. versus slim shady shit. So yeah. fuck them, put them in jail. And this is like a guy that, you know, for a while I trained him for a little bit. I, I respected him. I thought he was a pretty good, pretty good dude, good father, but he's in prison because he wanted to be slim shady. Yeah. And, one of our other members was like, fuck him, let him burn at the stake. I was like, but then he explained his narrative. I was like, that makes sense to me. It makes more sense, right? Yeah. I'm all about breaking the fucking rules, man. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, rules are made to be broken. You have no business breaking the rules and not telling somebody about it. Like, if you're going to fucking hide shit from people that are actually, like, in, like, eating your stuff, like, that's not breaking the rules, dude. That's straight up negligence. That's, you have no heart. You yeah, have no I mean, heart. Give is... the people the option if they want to take fucking steroids or not. Don't fucking force feed them. Give the people the option if they want to take drugs. Don't fucking force feed them. Yeah. Plain and simple, right? I don't. I have the most respect for people that decide that they want to take fucking and use anabolic steroids. I'm on the fence. It's not for me for right growth. now, right? Like, I'm just. I'm not know interested that I'm taking in that. it. Like, I'm on the fence, but I want to know that I'm taking it. Right, but but wait. Here's I don't here's the difference. Pre workout and. Right. Here's the difference. You are knowing and you're making that decision for yourself. You're not making that decision for somebody else. If you want to purchase and sell anabolic steroids, 
by all means. We all know that it's illegal. That's okay. Go to a TRT clinic. They'll take care of you. No problem. Do not fucking run a consumer fucking business and do illegal shit on the side in the name of that business or in the same fucking industry. Because you are a piece of shit if you do that. Give people people a choice. It's negligent. Give people a choice. And by the way, just to save our own asses from any sort of fucking lawsuit, these are all alleged. 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 Right? They were indicted. They weren't prosecuted yet, and they they haven't been to trial, but I have no problem with that. Come on. Let's do it. I thought it was really cool that that kid said, oh, I saw your stuff and it caught my eye. It caught my eye. I was like, that was fucking cool. I like that. As I was saying. I've been, I've been way more empathetic, man. I've, I've always, I never thought what they were doing was wrong from the above board business, not no, from the other shit. I didn't think they were either, but like, like I'm wearing a nine line apparel Love hat. those dudes. You know, like I feel like Without question, they're a veteran-owned business. They might not be. But they are. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like... There's three of them. I think there's three, and one of the dudes is a computer computer guy from uh, which is, yeah, the Savannah Institute of Awesome Art People. You can't have all military people, because it would be a shit show. But I feel like, like you're ah, just it's so heavily marketed to a certain demographic, and you're not being transparent. And most of the people that we talk to, even people we've had on the podcast, like, oh, I thought they were veteran-owned. Nope. No, that's their that's their gimmick, which is interesting because we only make up less than ten percent of the population. So you want to talk about a dem that you're going after? It's not mm. a broad spectrum. It's a it's a smaller spectrum. But I just I've had issue with them from the get go. So I'm glad that um, yeah, man, and they got caught for okay. doing what they're like, doing. Like there's just it's bad like, for the whole industry because it makes people suspect to like, do I want to take your stuff? How do I know that your stuff is safe? How right. do I know that what's in your stuff is exactly. really in your stuff? Exactly. Exactly. So, here's the deal, man. It's we're right down. We all we're all in the same sandbox right here in the Boca Raton, Florida. Boca Raton. Boca Raton. And you know, I know people that that know both of these guys very well, and <laughs> they're no longer they're no longer uh, doing doing the deal, doing business. And one mm-hmm. of those is a giant account, and that's okay. But um. I think that we, we did a good job and, and here's the deal. Be, uh, if you say that you're a trustworthy person, if people trust you, if you are in a position of power where people are basically in your control without them even knowing it, AKA you own a consumer products business that people fucking ingest, you are in control. Be responsible take responsibility. Mm-hmm. If you do something like what's going on right now, Eat it. Fucking take it on the chin. Hey, I did that. I fucked up. I made a really bad decision. Don't try to fucking pull some shit like, oh, everybody has the right to do blah, blah, whatever. Get out. Mm-hmm. Get out. Go go away. Get away from me. Anyway, not that this was supposed to be a podcast about supplement industry, but this was supposed to be a podcast about trust and trustworthiness and the assumption of of. Basically, yeah, like power, ethics, right? Like, yeah, ethics. Having some moral fiber in your body. I mean, how would you feel if somebody did that to your family and your kids? Because you got some of them. <clears throat> Man, hey, Wade, why'd you ethics. take out that? Why'd you take out that half-page ad in that magazine that's going to lead them right to us? <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny, dude. Anyway, but um, <laughs> I'm having a blast with this, man. I, I was, you know, we were waiting on and trying to figure out. Uh, Basically, uh, you know, a good way to talk about our products and, and blend Patriot Sports Nutrition into our podcast. And I think that this was a perfect timing, man. Mm-hmm. And and that's super cool because it's exactly what we talk about not doing. I think in the first episode, we, all we talked about was how to not be a piece of shit. Yeah, and attention to detail. And it's, well, yeah, attention Don't to detail. Don't put steroids in your pre-workout. Right. You know, unless you want to. You put them in there yourself. Mm-hmm. That's okay. No problem. You want to get the gains. Not, I have no one stopping you, man. I, I agree. People should have a right to to bodybuilders and weightlifters should have a right to take whatever they want and Peace put in their wall. body. Yeah, on their own fucking choice. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with their own choice. Mm-hmm. Not your not your decision, there, Brosif. But 
cool, man. Wait, let's start. What do we got? We'll have trust ethics. Uh, I bet their better business rating went down. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, you know, mission of the day is to take a look at the man in the mirror. I'm looking at the mm-hmm. man mm-hmm. in the mirror. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, if, if there's something going on in your life, to you have an opportunity to change. So make the oh, change. That's make a good the point. change. That's a good point, man. If, if you're doing really shady, shitty things right now, like, you can fix it. That's really cool. We're all humans. We all make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes, man. Like, I'm all about it. All about it. Hmm. What do the they call it when you make when you make the same mistake twice? Stupid. Hmm. Stupid is a good word. We'll use that. Stupid. So, anyway, everyone, if you love listening to, thank you. Number one, fifteen thousand downloads. I think that's pretty dope. What? Uh, also, I connected with uh, a future guest that I didn't even tell you about. Oh, th- you're gonna do it right now? Yeah. Okay. Best-selling author, oh, Marine Corps veteran, our homeboy Gunny Calderon at the Marine Barracks Eighth and I turned me on to him. He wrote a book about Ramadi. What's his name? That's uh, what's the book called? Scott. Is it Joker One? It's not Joker One. Oh, that book's written about my battalion and my company. That's pretty cool. You might be tied into it. But um, he was like super responsive yesterday on the IG, the mm. Instagram. Once again, backtracking, someone turned me on to this guy. I immediately reached out to him, immediately, and he responded. That's going to be really cool. Send me a day in time. We've got a couple people that um, we've been talking to in the past few days. And I hit up Lisa well. Leslie yesterday as yeah, well for a WNBA. second time. If you know Lisa Leslie, she's Boca Ratten WNBA. resident. WNBA. Trying to get Super her on. Cool. If you have connections, look us up. We got connections, man. She's local. We got the connections. Well, I'm excited for those podcasts. Man, I yeah. love having uh, pe- like creative people on the show. It's so much fun. Like Kevin was a lot of fun. Uh, Armin Trout, you know, like guys that like sit there and write. Writers are a different breed, man. Yeah, we should do not only just breakfast with Eddie Pinero again, but like have him on again. Sure, I love Eddie. Mm-hmm. Oh, we gotta we gotta schedule that. That's this week. Cool. All right. Hey everyone, if you love listening to our podcast, the Two Marines One Mike podcast, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Watch us on the YouTube machine. I think we're making some pretty high quality videos. Got the new DSLR right there in your face. And we're having fun with it, you know, and this is cool. We set up the room a little bit differently today. So if you like what you're seeing, if you like what you're hearing, hit us up with a comment, hit the subscribe button on whatever platform or channel you are listening to this or watching this on and tell a like-minded friend. Don't tell every friend because I don't want to hear the shit. So also check out PatriotSportsNutrition.com. Why not? We're a family-friendly supplement brand. Why not? And... I would love to know more about you and what your fitness goals are. And so we wait. And I think that's super cool because mm-hmm. mm, we don't use any chat bots or anything like that. So when you send a message to us on the website, it goes directly to my cell phone. So I'll be responding to you. Hello. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> my name's Phil. It's a lot Phil. of fun. Oh, wait. It's actually Phil. Mm-hmm. Cool. What else, man? I feel like I'm forgetting to curse somebody out. No, let's not do that. All right. I won't. Um, what else, man? Let's sign off. Let's Let's get it down. Until next time, we're out. Semper Fi. A Marine is characterized as one who possesses the highest of military virtues. He obeys all orders, respects his seniors, and strives constantly to be the very best at everything he does. Discipline and spirit are the hallmarks of a Marine. You too can become a Marine if you develop discipline and spirit. We will give every effort to train you, even after some of you have given up on yourself. You're listening to Two Marines, One Mike.